Hey guys, Bob McBride, Black Powder TV. Today we're gonna to do a quick video for our new shooter series on the flint lock. Specifically, we're gonna focus on the flint, proper orientation, and what happens to that flint as you fire shot after shot through your flint lock rifle. And this flint goes from sharp to misfire. You have a really sharp edge when you start here and as you fire, your shots off, it's gonna scrape steel off of the frizzen, which causes the actual sparks to drop in the pan, but it's also gonna ding and chip up the edge of this flint. So when you fire your first shot, you're gonna get a nice, beautiful spray of sparks down there. The next one, you're gonna get a few less, next shot, a few less, next shot, a few less, all the way until you get your misfire. So once you get your misfire, you're gonna nap that flint and continue on and you'll be able to do that time after time until that flint is just too short and won't take an edge so let's take a look at what that looks like the lock we're using today is jim kibler's new round face english lock and this is a great lock sparks great cnc machine beautiful i'll put information on this lock in the links below and you can go to jim's website and take a look at this super super lock so looking at the flint you'll notice that it has a sharp edge and you'll also notice that the orientation of the angle on the front side of the flint that orientation can go either way it's going to depend on how it interfaces with the frizzen so what you want is a strike up here that's not too strong doesn't put too, too many marks up here in a, in a horizontal line on the top of your frizzen where the impact happens and it scrapes down nicely, smoothly opens up the frizzen and drops sparks down in the pan. So play with this, with the angle up like this or with the angle down, um, it will make a difference and just put it whichever way that it sets better in relation to the frizzen. What we're gonna do now is fire this lock off replicating firing it off at the range or or out in the woods plinking and what happens to this flint as you fire subsequent shots off so let's take a look so now we're going to simulate 30 or 40 shots whatever it takes to get this flint dulled All right, so I think that last one would have definitely been a misfire. Let's try one more. It's starting to get iffy, and that flint is starting to get dull, if you can see that. So what we want to do at this point, take our lock, bring the flint back to half cock. Now, obviously, you're going to do this on the rifle, but you can use a small brass-headed hammer like this. You can use one like this, anything that has a hammer on it or a tough edge. So whatever you have on hand that you can nap this with. So let's go ahead and tap this. All right. sparking again. So that goes to show you that you are going to have to nap your flint. You're going to have to learn how to do it. Now, it's not any kind of big trick. Just pull back and tap at a bit of an angle here. You don't want, you don't want this. That's going to blunt your edge. Just get up here at about a, you know, 22 and a half or whatever and start tapping. You'll get the force required for that piece of rock as you start to uh, get chips off the bottom. So going slow, 
going easy, nothing happens, start giving a little more force and you'll start see start chips farting, start, starting to fly off this bottom edge. Um, and that's resharpening that knife edge. So that's what you're looking for. And that's what you can expect to see. Keep your flint sharp, keep your rifle from misfiring. Happy shooting. See you next time. Bye.